line Sai Rama Raju, and he is from 320B. He has been a GLT coordinator and also the district cabinet secretary designate for the next year. Right? And he is a very powerful orator, a sought after public speaker, and eminent lion, held lots of different positions and won 11 international awards. So I invite Sai Ramaraju to switch on his microphone, switch on his video cam and start sharing his slideshow. Uh, very good morning to all the lions. What I could see is almost 227 attendees. Fantastic Sunday morning. My compliments to council chair of MD320 for putting this beautiful event in a, such a challenging situation and making us feel we are live and together. Friends, upcoming and incoming leaders, the outline presentation of mine is being effective zone chairperson. Friend, let me tell you, I have gone through this phase of my life. After 10 years, I took over as a zone chairperson. Keeping that aspect in mind and what I have done and what we should do to be a very effective zone chairperson, remember that this particular position comes to you for a very short phase. And this phase of a life, this phase of a tenure, you should be able to cherish throughout your linistic service years. Five years down the line, you should be able to have your story. Five years back when I was a zone chairperson, these are my achievements. So kindly make sure that you have a fantastic and beautiful opportunity that you have gotten to ensure that you strong to it at the best of your capability and make that as an effective year. Similar are the points which my co-panelist Rahul Gopal Rao Garu has taken, immediate priorities, responsibilities and leadership skill. Friends, about the zone chairperson, you might be reading one sentence on the screen, be careful with my criticism and liberal with my praise to build and not to destroy. Till today, you were a part of a club where you were born where you got inducted any kind of criticisms any kind of praises that you would have made that was all within the family people would have taken you groomed you for every criticism that you have made whisper to the whisper here and they would have corrected you but going forward from now when you are a zone chairperson you need to make this last part of our code of ethics top of your mind Whenever you are talking, your criticism or your praise has to be as liberal as possible. And as a zone chairperson in the entire organization structure, you play a very, very critical role only to build, only to build. Please mark my words, only to build and never ever thought of denting, whatever may be the situation that you come across, but only to build is and the most priority of yours coming to the priorities part first and foremost thing you should always keep in mind you have to take your home club in your confidence you become a zone chairperson and many of the club people will come to know after one quarter zone chairperson please make sure have you reached your club have you spoken to the every past zone chairperson of your club and have you collected the success stories from them and also have you made them a part of your team as your own well-wisher that any endeavors that you are going to plan for the zone this is very important your home club has to be with you for anything that you take up in the district the reason is anything that you are going to ask in your zone you should have completed that in your home club whatever it may be starting from the basic of pu 101 if you have done you have an utmost level of a confidence to go and ask get your house in order if it has been 
at a very different order. Put everything in one place. That's the first thing you should do it. Get the past of your clubs allotted to you. What do I mean by get the past of your clubs allotted to you? It's very important. I think by this time you would have got all the four clubs, Char Club, Teen Club, Cha, Che Club, whatever you would have got. Just spend a day. Find out what is the past of the club. What is the vintage of the club? How old this club has been? How many zone chairpersons from this club have come forward? You know why? This will be helpful to you as you move on. The reason is your current president, your current treasurer, and your current secretary of your respective zone club are going to be the reflection of the club's past. So if you are aware of the club's past, you exactly know how the president, secretary, and treasurers are going to behave with you. Check your club's district response pattern. What do I mean by pattern? As you mean, you've got a four clubs with you, and these four clubs have got a standard pattern. PU101, sir, we will upload it in June. We will do it Is it the pattern they have been following for years together? If that is the case, you have to tweak the pattern, just reach the president and say, last three years you have been uploading to you 101 in month of May. Can I humbly request you, please, can you upload it in month of April? Because February has been a nomination month. Can you go back to your club seniors and do it? Friends, always keep in mind. 16 years that me as a lion, I have very seldom seen the people using the word please keep this as your armor now as the things we go forward the pattern of your zone has to be very clear as we move ahead as my slides is coming up till that time once you are clear the pattern of your zone the life is going to be very very easy for you Always keeping one thing in mind as a zone chairpersons, many of us do one mistake. We feel that to impress the governor is going to be our top post priority as a zone chairperson. Absolutely no. Please don't try to impress your governor. Please try to impress your district. Try and understand if you are going to waste your time in impressing governor, we are going to waste a lot of time. But if you are going to impress your district, that's going to be your district goals. And if you are going to impress your district goals, you are going to be the most effective and one of the most sorted zone chairperson. My next slide says, how can you be set apart where you are recognized as a zone chairperson? We talk about constitutional responsibility friend let me make a statement here if your mind body and soul is not constituted to your institute to your district any kind of a constitutional binding doesn't come in force the reason is as a constitutional requirement we have to conduct the district governor's zone advisory meeting three at the multiple level sometime it's four most of the times we skip it, we take it very casually. Is there any constitutional binding the governor is going to ask you to take a walk? No. He is going to say, okay, fine, please do it. Now, if you remember my past, when I said, check the pattern of your clubs, find out this club was a part of some or the other zone. If you would have checked your pattern, whether this club has ever attended an a zone advisory meeting, and if you come to know, yes, this club is very very effective in attending the zone advisory meeting your life becomes very easy tell the current ruling president my friend your past president secretary treasurers were fantastic people they attended all the phone zone advisory meeting whenever uh, district zone advisory meeting whenever it was called the president you directly hook him and say friend make sure you also do it number two what are the basic responsibilities that I have to do? There is in a format which international requires after you complete your zone advisory, district zone advisory meeting, it's a very detailed minute font uh, template, which you have to fill in and make sure 
it reaches to your district governor marking copy to your first vice district governor second vice district governor your gst glt and gmt never ever forget to involve your gst gmt glt the reason is these are the three wheels which is going to keep your zone moving ahead and ahead these are the people are going to be your fantastic well wishers and advisors make sure you make them a part of your every meeting that you call for as a district zone advisory meeting number two health meter you will be getting a mail from an international where it says your zone health please don't take that casually read that it's like a bible where your entire zone is heading to again i go back to my first slide which says the pattern if you come to know let us assume that you have a one club which has been only at 55 members throughout their last seven to eight years of span but now there is no movement happening just go to the president and say dear president there were 11 presidents before you who have not added even one single member to the club you will create a history if you add only four members now once you see this thought in his mind he would definitely try to remain a part of all the precedents what the club has given till date indirectly you also set the record of being a part you can go back and say this was a club which never gave a single member in the last 10 years in my zone chairpersonship i have got a four members out you need to be a growth hacker what do you mean by growth hacker anything that club has not done if you add even a one percent it is going to get elevated collectively if all the 10 zone chairpersons are working on the pattern and if are able to add four members each club which has never given a members collectively district gets 14 members out of the 10 club which has never given the membership that's the pattern where you have to check it very rightly said by our PID Sumit Garu, innovation, actually that's a part of my slide. And two, I'm not going into a details of because you have a fantastic learning on the MyLCI portal where you have a bundle of constitutional write-up material. I would humbly urge and request you, please go through it. Me telling you, you will forget. But if you read, read once, twice, Price in a whole year you will remember for good now coming back to most of the times we say sir method zone chairmanship chala kastanga tisukunte namma ma governor force chestunnadu sare edo okti poni anni tisukoni istini but naaku assalu time ledamma ee whole year inka covid toti ante i have to get back to my business chala short comes unnai chala losses ainai idanni nen cover chestunta undala friends the exact time what you give to your district governor is eight hours in a whole year by calling a two hours of district zone advisory meetings that's eight hours in 365 days 16 hours to your district by visiting each club at least twice very periodically it's very difficult because you have four clubs but if you decide i am going to visit my zone club only twice decide the date and visit and if you calculate the time it is going to be only 16 hours financial health of the district is directly and indirectly responsibility of a zone chairperson as very rightly said by the earlier panelist most of the foreign countries the zone chairperson is and a person who is next to district governor in some of the places they are called as a mini governors understand when it comes to the health matter of your district again go back to the pattern check your clubs history how they have been paying the dues you have to just go and tweak 10 days before 15 days be before our dct ryan ravindra garu has fantastically come out with a program called jazz july august september and our target is to make sure that our district multiple and international dues are getting collected by 31st of December. We all are crossing our fingers, but we are trying to create a record. Are you here to create a record? That's very important. 
If I keep on going on to your details of the constitutional responsibility, it takes on a lot. But these are the basic things which you have to require because, as I rightly said, you are a second in command to your district government. Again, remember, don't try to impress the governor, impress the district. It's a district first, the top in the priority. And if your district is first, you are going to always think as a whole, a unified block. Do not go into that particular tangent and a mood where you will say, Nail Gani Zone Advisory Meeting call Chale than Amta M for a Padanaba, Aim for a Padadu, Andu Chestnut Kadane, no random mischief, the Aim Outundi. Don't. If, like us, all the 10 people are going to think and everybody misses one's own advisory meeting, the district is not going to have an effective administration movement. The lubricants of the district will not move on to. So, please get your way ahead and approach plan very very clear when what how are you going to conduct the meeting second thing which i have seen off late we are talking about the web webinar zoom calls and meeting do not take any of these meetings and webinars and zoom call casually please you know what i'm completely ducked up with my jacket my tie and my shirt i have switched off my fan and i'm sweating but you know the reason is what you look into the screen is the seriousness that you are going to project to the people those who are sitting across and watching you unfortunately my video is not coming that's my bad luck anyways but whenever you are in the virtual meeting take it as seriously as you walk into a physical meeting you love to wear a jacket you love to wear a tie make sure that you do that while you are on the web call also coming on to the most important part it's a leadership skill now the leadership skill you all are so very fantastically learned people what is the word leadership means i can go on to the google and give you thousands and thousands of example but no the leadership skill is are you having an example of yourself to talk about as the leader that is what makes you a true leader. I can give you all kinds of adjectives which are written onto the web, but in the reality, when it comes to the execution, it doesn't happen because we all are into a social organization where the leadership quality has to come by the virtue of your own thought process. Your standard of language is what your leadership will talk about. As I told you before, many of us hesitate to say word please. When you call the people and say, I will give you two examples. Call one. And I have a morning zone advisory meeting with the Padigatal key. No, just say inclinchi. Sadhana, okay, right, thank you. Call cut. Now, the call two. Good morning, Anna. Hello now. All well at home? How is your family? Very good. Thank you. Would you mind, can I just request you a morning 10 o'clock zone advisory meeting only? Now tell me, could be the custom open day. But can you just please come? That's the standard of a language. Do not ever use flaunt your position. Please understand, it's a matter of nine to eleven months. Afterwards, you are called as a past zone chairperson. What is the impact that you are going to leave? That's the leadership quality. Your standard of language to the people you communicate is the first and foremost thing quality of a leader. Request them, humble them. Please understand this organization doesn't give an, a constitutional binding to every club president secretary that they have to come and attend your meetings and your call. No, again, I tell you, please understand that's a social organization. The way you are going to run your zone is all depends upon the how is the language that you are going to talk to the people kuch farak nahi padta hai sahab please bolne mein because by attending your district governor zone advisory meeting or any meeting you called he is doing a favor to you you know why you don't know what he has left back home he would have left back home many of his family priorities many of his professional priorities so acknowledge him invite him in a such a beautiful language that he would really come back to 
say thank you so much for calling and I love your meeting. Number two, when it comes to the leadership part, friends, most of the time we have so many examples for the leadership. But when I'm talking to you, when I got this opportunity, I should thank uh, our council chair Prakash Rao Garu. I am so very humbled. A council chair calling a panelist and telling, do you have a time, Sairam? That is a learning. A person at a, such a stature, he asked me this question and I was so very humbled. That's the way to get connected if you remember what the Sunil Kumar Garu has said. And what may come go, you get connected. When we are talking about the time aspects, it's very, very important that a leader should understand the importance of the time of others. And if he's not able to do it, if you think as a zone chairperson, what are the meeting you called? That is going to be the time you have to follow up on. Please stick to that. I'm sitting on 21.04 minutes now of my presentation. I need to jump on to the next. As I told you in the leadership, do I have an example, me as a faculty, have I graduated myself to come and give you the leadership traits? Yes. When I was a zone chairperson, friend, my example to you is, other than a zone chairperson, I had taken additional responsibility of a district for collecting Akshay Patra. You know what? 48,90,467 rupees, not a single penny discrepancy, all transactions reported 100%. Every donor gets ATG certificate. And I will really not forget our past late Narayan Rao Garu, the person who has contributed 1 lakh rupees in Akshay Patra. I still remember. He called me once to his house and said, Sairam, I would like to hand out this check to you. That is an example that you said. Now, years after, I will still remember what is the one that I have given to the district. If I have to talk about the region chairperson, friends, years together I have seen so many region chairperson, Raju Garu, Sambailam, this Sambailam, that Sambailam. You know what? I changed the entire legacy and I branded it my region conference as a lead with passion because if I'm collecting every single penny for a people for getting registered to my zone chair uh, region chair conference I have to make sure this becomes an, a public gathering and I don't have a right to title it individually that got me uh, attention of our PID Sunil Kumar Garu and he gave me two minutes in the council office to talk about it I would love to keep those memories. These are the examples which you will carry forward. 10 clubs, banner presentation was done. That's all about on the leadership quality. When it comes to my timing is to almost around about 23 minutes. I have to obey the host in the message he had sent. Please give two minutes in advance. I would love to have this kind of sessions further also. Looking opportunity with every one of you and thankful to all the leadership in the MD for inviting me as a faculty. And thank you so much to Sunil Kumar Garu. Even today, I carried something good and I again got connected to you. Thank you so much to you. Everybody have a fantastic Sunday. Over to you, host Nagaraj Guru. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Saira. That was a really very interesting and a little humorous, quite oh, illuminating talk I with live examples. Drawing examples from your own personal life, your career, and also the various episodes that you have listed during your presentation have gone straight to the heart of the people. I'm sure the tips that Sairam has given will last a lifetime with you, and I'm sure they will help you right, become a better zone chairperson. So thank you, Sairam. Thank you very much. Thank you.